Hi, welcome to another episode of Gardening with Peg. And I'm here with Melissa Lawrence. Hi. She's a good friend and she's a very crafty girl. And so she was telling me about these cracked flower pots that she does. And so we're going to actually make a potted up container, but this beautiful clay pot <laughs> is going to be smashed a bit. It's going to be cracked. And Melissa's going to do that part. And I'll tell you briefly about some of the plants we've selected. And then, to make it even cuter, we have fun decorations. So Melissa and I went plant shopping. And, um, we went for colors and textures. So for the top, you want something that's a little bit taller. And also when you're putting the plants in your container, um, they'll stay in there for a year or two, but then later on you'll want to put them out in your garden. So when you're selecting your plants, think ahead to the future. Where, where do you want them to go later? Do you want them to go just into a bigger pot? Or do you want to put them somewhere in your garden? So that might give you a, a hint on how to select what you're going to use. But Melissa and I really liked this one. It's a type of um, capressus, which is, um, you probably know them as cypress plants. And this is the one that you see in a lot of um, containers. And they, they can get pretty tall. They can get taller than I am and about as wide as I am. Um, but we're going to put this one in the top when she gets to the top. And then we wanted stuff to spill out over the side. So this is um, sort of a, a newer bacopa that's out. And it's, um, it's it, to me, it's lavendery purple, but they call this blue. And it will trail over the sides. And then we really, particularly Melissa and her mom, they love sedums and sempervivum. And so we picked one that's purple. We got a really bright yellowy gold one. And then we might put a little bit of moss for, um, for a lawn type thing. It's not really moss. This is called um, Sagina, S-A-G-I-N-A. -A, and it gets little tiny blue flowers. So we're gonna do that. And we might run out of room, right? Yeah, probably, yeah. but we have more so, pots. So. But we have more pots, so um, just a few other things we like is Louisia. This is um, a pretty plant. Its name I can't remember, but I'll look it up for the blog. And um, another uh, sedum, sempervivum. And then um, a little geranium. So those are just some ideas. So, Melissa, <laughs> would you like to um, crack away? Oh, yeah. So I like to, when I break the pot, I like to go ahead and do it on the side that has the sticker because they never really like to come off. And so with that, it just kind of gets it out of the way. I'm going to try and break it from the top. Um, I've noticed sometimes in the middle it can kind of go out of, out of whack, and we're going to try it from the top this time. can kind of crack a little bit more off. And it's nice to crack it into where the pot is because then you, your pieces kind of just go into the pot and it's kind of an easy cleanup. And they'll put your safety glasses, right? Yeah. <laughs> don't do what we're doing. Yes, don't, don't follow me. Wear your safety glasses. Almost like a stair step. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think this will work. So the next thing you want to do is we're going to put some potting soil in here. But first, um, with the terracotta pots, there's that little hole in the bottom. So I just take one of the little cracked pieces and just place it over top before I put the soil in. 
So I'll just go ahead and start dumping that. Okay, and we can use one of these little guys that broke off earlier. Actually, it would be fun to put a little soil right there at least to uh, Probably we can maybe plant something that hangs uh -huh. over right there. Yep, I think we've got some small things we can put in yeah. there. Yeah. Actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece that kind of broke off and I'm going to break it again and see if I can get a bigger piece to kind of put across there. So a lot of times if you put it on the edge of the table, it makes it a little bit easier for where you're going to crack it. And it fell right or in the not. bucket. So. <laughs> Well, no, it worked out perfect. I oh, got a good. piece. Yeah. Okay. So we'll take this little guy out of there. Oh, I see what you're doing. And we'll put doing. this bigger one in. Ah. And we'll leave some soil on this side. So it's kind of almost like you create little walls, Yeah, right? exactly. Just okay. kind of different layers. That way you've got different levels to the pot. So you're doing like, um, you're doing like what you would do on big landscaping on yeah. a very small scale. Scale. Exactly. And if they broke this down too far, they could put a, a little piece across, mm -hmm. yeah, right? Yeah, another piece just straight okay. across there. Cool. Yeah, so what I think is we can put a little plant just right in here and then start layering it up again in the back. So Melissa and I want you to know that if you were doing this yourself, you would do it from the front. And you could see what you were doing but <laughs> we're doing it from behind for the sake of demonstrating which is really an interesting process yeah <laughs> so um you know use your imagination a little bit so i'm sticking this real cute little sedum in here and um when you pick your plants pick ones that aren't really pot bound you know get ones that the soil is pretty mushy when you squeeze the pot, the container, and it'll make them easier to work with. So there's a little sedum, and he'll kind of spill out. Perfect. And we're gonna fill in around these when we're all done. Yeah, so we'll throw a little. Because the soil settles. All right, so I think we're gonna add a couple more layers, and it kind of just gives the pot some depth. So I think what I wanna do is shove, oh, we'll turn it this way so the the rest of that tag isn't out. But I think I want to just kind of slide this guy in there. And that way we'll have all back here. Yeah, kind of slow that down in there to hold it in place. Your Vanna. I like it. Some people um, moisten their potting soil first. It's up to you how you want to do it. If you, um, if, if it's not moist, you might have to fill in a little bit lighter which is what we'll do. All um, right. So what kind of what I like to do first is is get some of my plants out and kind of figure out just an idea of where I want to put them. Um, and then that way I can add some more layers to kind of build the soil up so we get kind of more towards the top up here so we can have some spillover and it'll look really pretty. So with these ones we can just kind of take them out now that we've got them in. We'll just set them off to the side. So what I'm thinking is now that we've got, we're gonna put that big one right there, I think it would be kind of nice to maybe get another piece and make another kind of layer right here to where that way we can build the soil up some. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to cracking. So Melissa, if you, if you put something like this in and you didn't like it, mm -hmm. So, and you wanted to do that instead, you could pull that out and... Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've probably take apart my pots at least three or four times before I ever get it to be the right way. Cool. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I broke another little piece. I'm going to kind of dig a little spot for it so it kind of stays in a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Let me move this one up a little bit. So, you could stair-step them Yeah. This kind of... Yeah, and kind of that way uh -huh. I put a little bit more soil down here. Yeah. That way it kind of gets a little bit higher, too. Right. So, like, if you put this taller plant like we're thinking about, mm -hmm. it gives it much more room for its roots to go down. Yep. So, yeah, we could throw a little bit more soil over top here. 
Well, it's so fun because, you know, there's a bunch of small plants now. Mm -hmm. And um, they would get lost out in a big landscape. So when you put them in containers, you get to enjoy them closer up, right? Yeah, exactly. And so we've got a little gap here. Yeah. Um, what we can do, so some of that soil doesn't fill out, is uh -huh. we can take a smaller piece uh -huh. and just kind of... Wedge it, it in. Wedge it in right there. Oh, that's cool. And it kind of, in the front too, it'll kind of give it a little bit of, you don't know, something yeah. extra. Depth. Yeah. So when you go ahead and dig um, these extra pieces in, I just want to get them as firm to where they'll stay in place. So I just kind of pack the dirt around just right next to it and just so it stays in place and is holding the rest of the soil back. And they get a lot more firm in there once you get the plants in. So it just, it doesn't have to be perfect when you get started, but once the plants get, get put in, everything kind of just falls into place. Perfect. And we can, there's a little bit of, there's a little gap right on this back. Behind so him. when I'm, I'm just going to put it on this side, that way I don't kind of overflow him with dirt. In trying to plant this plant, I realized that there wasn't anything to hold the soil in. So I'm adding one more piece, and then I'm going to put soil in behind it. Because the plants need soil. They, their roots will die if you don't have the plant tucked in the soil. I should tell you, too, that a lot of the plants that, that we've chosen are... Um, they're plants that are commonly called rockery plants. So they can, the, the sedums, all the sedums and sempervivum, they, they um, grow in little crevices and they grow in rockeries and stuff. So if, if we accidentally didn't get quite enough soil around them, they would probably be okay. So you want to pick a plant that doesn't need deep roots when you're putting them in little crevices in this type of container. So the next one we're going to do is this little cypress plant. Okay, and so we, it's kind of the bigger one, so we need to dig some soil out back here. Yeah. Oh, good. Wait, we're good. Yeah, it's not that much. Oh, no, it wasn't. Come in. Yeah, and do you want them a little taller than that? I do. Okay. So now we've got to put more dirt Now we got to put more dirt in. And we can actually, we can even add more dirt around it so it doesn't lose any of his depth. Oh, I hey. like him because he hangs yeah, over a little. Yeah, that's good. That's good. We like it. Yeah. And some soil back down I in have here. to go around and see it. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's looking good. Good. It's like so it. hard to do these from behind. Make sure you're, you're looking at them. From the front. <laughs> So once you kind of get your plants where you want them to be and kind of make a final little look, um, then it's time to add the little trinkets that we got. What do we so, want to do? Yeah, yeah. Where do you where do you want to put these guys? And this guy is a little frog, and it says "Home Sweet Home," so I'm putting him here. I think I, I think I want this little gnome to be hiding back in the in the bushes Ooh. over here. Where do you want the owl? Ooh. Maybe right in front. Mm -hmm. Oh, cute. The last thing you need to do is water it all in. And any container, it doesn't matter if it's uncracked or cracked, you need to water them almost every day, especially during the three or four summer months that we get. And, and the plants will tell you, they start wilting. <laughs> okay, so we went ahead and made another one with the first pot that we cracked that I didn't really like in the beginning because it kind of was small, but we used the leftover plants that we had. Um, but yeah, so they I think they turned out great. They did. Thank you for being on the yeah, show, Melissa. Yeah, of course, thanks for having me.